Um, my journey um, all started in administration. Um, so I went straight from school into an administration officer role. Um, I did that for about a year um, before I decided to um, venture into pharmacy. Um, and that was really good. That was um, a change also. Um, and then after pharmacy, I did decide to give nursing a try. Um, I went through the Trainee Enrolled Nurse Program um, that was running at the time and that was amazing. Um, it was a one year program and that's when I really sort of knew that I was going to be a nurse. And then working as an enrolled nurse, um, sort of had to find my feet first. Um, before I then decided to, um, about five years, decided to study further and go into university um, and do my registered nursing. So I, I work um, in two different roles at the moment. I work in the endoscopy unit at Gosford and also the Aboriginal Health Unit. Each day is yeah, totally different. Sometimes I'm out in the community uh, and then the next day I'm in here in theatres doing totally different things than I did the day before. No, no day is ever the same. Um, you walk into a room each day, you've got a new set of patients, um, new set of stories from people, um, new histories. And I just, I really enjoy hearing that and, and also being able to help people um, through their journey while they're sick. Um, hopefully being that friendly face that they see and can make things a little bit better. I love working in the community because you can get out into people's homes and in their lives, um, really get a feel for who they are and um, just a whole picture of um, their story. Um, and it's also pretty random. Every day is different. Um, you can do screening days down at health centres one day um, and then be up in the hospital visiting patients that you know need a bit of support the next day. When you work on the wards, um, it's really hectic, really chaotic. Um, sometimes some patients have really rough nights um, and you're that nurse that walks in in the morning, opens the blinds, opens the windows and they look at you and say, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I'm so glad that you're my nurse today. And yeah, that's a real feel good. Nursing can be pretty trying at times. You, you know, you have to work with a lot of different people, um, but you know, you do use your support networks in able to get through. And, and if you have one bad day um, at work, the next day is not going to be the same. I suppose just knowing that they're there, even if you don't need them, um, if they are in the background and only a phone call away, um, that's, that's quite comforting. When I am out in the community, on the days I'm in the community, um, I often see a lot of Aboriginal people with diabetes um, that are struggling with the diagnosis, the understanding, um, and there's not really um, a Aboriginal diabetic educator um, on the Central Coast at the moment or working for Central Coast Health. Um, so um, seeing those gaps sort of makes me more motivated to um, study and learn so I can help um, the community. Um, at, at the moment I'm working towards getting my credentialed um, diabetes educator role. Uh, I'm at uni doing a graduate certificate in diabetes management um, and after that I will need a mentor because I'll be doing six months worth of um, placement hours in order to get that um, credentialing.